Hello, welcome back to Bastion and Basilisks. My name is Calvin. I'm Brandon. We're talking about the life domain today. Boom, I got it. Ooh, I'm a professional. Get the tote bag. It's totes profesh. I do have a tote bag that says profesh. Literally for that joke. I called. I literally told you within the first three minutes. <laughs> yeah. It's not a tangent. It's merch. It's relevant. It's relevant. I also sold one of my uh, I'm a ho for side quest shirts. Oh, really? Yeah. It's uh, oh, yeah. my girlfriend bought it. Uh, <laughs> and she really likes it. Apparently, it's a really nice shirt. Anyway, so cleric, life domain cleric, now that we're back to not, not selling merch. Um, I like life domain, life domain clerics. My sibling played it, and it looks really good. Uh, so at first level, they get access to, for their domain spells, they get Bless, which is a solid spell, and Cure Wounds, always good. At third level, they get Lesser Restoration and Spiritual Weapon. Lesser Restoration, always good. Spiritual Weapon can be good if you hit. Most people don't. At fifth level, they get Beacon of Hope, which I think is the group AoE heal. Up to six creatures. Um, and Revivify, which means they always have access to a Revivify. Kind of like the Grave Domain, which is pretty cool. Uh, at seventh level, they get Death Ward and Guardian of Faith. I don't know what Guardian of Faith does. Uh, at ninth level, they get Mask Your Wounds and Raise Dead. Once again, Mask Your Wounds, solid. Raise Dead, solid. Bonus proficiency. Very solid spells. Right. When you choose this domain at first level, you gain proficiency with heavy armor. If you're a life domain cleric, you're going to have to heal people, which means you're have, going to be have to be near people, most likely. So it makes sense that you'd want to have heavier armor. And like That's I said, disgusting. six videos ago, <laughs> like half of them get heavy armor proficiency at this point. So it's like, why not just give it to all of them? Um, and then at, they also, Disciple of Life, also starting at first level, your healing spells are more effective. Whenever you use a spell of first level or higher to restore hit points to a creature, the creature regains additional hit points equal to 2 plus the spell's level. Which, like I was saying when we were discussing um, things, we are discussing the Grave Domain Cleric. If they are already unconscious, Grave Domain Cleric is better, because they maximize. If they're still standing, Life Domain is better. Because they can heal for more, theoretically. Oh no! Like this is definitely solid as hell. I I do like this because Already it's starting focused. Off at level one, it's focused. It's whole thing. It's not you know just knowledge domain. Their life domain. Like our job is to keep you standing, and so their whole thing is so that you're. It also is nice if you were like, all right, D four plus wisdom modifier, <laughs> or D eight. I rolled a one. I get a plus three. Heal four hit points. So at least this way, it's like, yeah, okay. Like, oh, is so annoying. At this one, your minimum is, you know, one plus. Whatever. Well, it's three plus spell level plus wisdom modifier, which I know is a lot of stuff. But um, it's for what it's designed to do, it does it well. Oh, yeah, 100%. Definitely, like I said, very strong for level one. Right. At least it is strong for level one. Not, not quite Grave Domain strong, but... No, but, but... Strong. Channel Divinity. Preserve life. Starting at second level, you can use your Channel Divinity to heal the badly injured. As an action, you present your holy symbol and evoke healing energy that can restore a number of hit points equal to five times your cleric level. Choose any creatures within 30 feet of you and divide those hit points among them. The creature can resolve. Uh, this feature can restore a creature to no more than half its hit point maximum. You can't use this feature on an undead or construct. So it's like a uh, kind of like laying on hands? Sort of, except you get it back with a short rest because it's channel divinity. Also, yeah. it doesn't, but it also doesn't restore. Um, conditions. Up to a certain point. It doesn't restore conditions at all. 
So like you oh, can't remove yeah. the you can't remove the poison condition or the confused condition or the stun condition or whatever conditions land hand. So it, it is it is in some ways better because short rest, but it also can't restore you up to more than half. Yeah, it's like it's like a a light version of sorts. Like but, it, it definitely has its benefits and it definitely has its but if you're alcohol. third, fourth level and you're somebody just took a real hard hit and you're like, I could spend a spell slot to possibly heal you seven hit points. Or or spend my channel divinity to heal you fifteen. So if the barbarians almost bloody or almost unconscious, go cool, channel divinity, heal. 15, 30, or 15, 20 hit points. And then maybe, maybe, and it, there's no limit to how many people you can heal either with it. So uh, if you have a whole group using one of the most broken feats that I adore, <laughs> Remarkable Recovery, I'd be like, cool, I, I use this to heal everybody. <laughs> five hit points a piece and then they're like cool everybody gains anyway preserve life is great it's it's um te- its strength is tempered by the fact that they can't go above half but the five times your cleric level this this got a lot of use in my uh descent to do a furnace game lily used this a lot this this i'm sure this gets the most use out of probably any channel divinity because of how useful it is I love it. It it looks like it's really good. I I've never seen someone play it, uh, at least in my tables. But definitely looks like something that would be very useful. I mean, it's it's also it's ranged thirty feet. So like that's another thing. How it's better than, um, land hands. So you yeah, could like, have to. You, your group just got hit by a fireball. Cool. I just heal everybody five hit points. So you you know your fireball yeah. is kind of trash, bro. Get good, scrub. So yeah, that's your action, but boom, you just healed everybody. So it's it's worth it. And it's not a spell slot. The only thing is it's an action. So technically you could use this as your standard action and then use um healing word as your bonus action. So somebody's still not doing great, like the person who fails the saving throw. They're like, oh, I took all that, you know, 20 points. You're like, cool. Everybody, everybody heal five. Everybody who's below half, heal five or whatever. And then I'll change it or I'll, you know. Yeah, and then with their with their disciple of life, now they're healing a D4 plus wisdom plus two plus cast, you know, spell level. So yeah. Um uh, blessed healer, beginning at sixth level, the healing spells you cast on others heal you as well. When you cast a spell of first level or higher that restores hit points to a creature other than you, you regain hit points equal to two plus the spell's level. I love this because this is a this is obviously a continuation of Disciple of Life, but for the he- caster, and it means that you don't have to choose. Do I say do I heal myself so that I'm more than likely standing next turn? Or do I heal the fighter who needs to be standing next turn? You don't. This yeah, this, this, is... may, this means that you don't have to. Or like we were saying, if if you the party get hit hard by something, you're like, cool. I cast. I used my channel divinity, six level. That's thirty five hit points divided between four or five, however many characters. And then I cast my healing word on the fighter. Heal for you know seven to whatever um or at six level you might have an 18 you and then you also heal for you also heal for you know so it's two plus the spells level so it's if you heal someone else and still get even if it's a, a minimal amount a decent amount like healing for anything is better than healing for nothing right so be to get this and it's a six level spell, so or a six level uh, ability. It's pretty good, in my opinion. Right. So this ready for some ready for some lear- Calvin learning stuff. This is like gas powered firearms. 
you're healing, you're shooting them with a healing bullet, and you're getting some of the energy expended back. It's a stretch, but it's there. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, no, I I really like Blessed Healer. It's because it's once again, if as the healer, you're like, it's my job to keep you guys standing. But if I get hit again, I'm going down, and it's either I choose myself or I choose you, and it sucks to have to make yeah. that decision because you never know what's the right decision. So because it's you never if, know what happens if you're like, cool. I, at sixth level, you can drop a third level spell. You're like, fine. I will. I'll I'll cast a third level cure wounds on you. You for three d eight plus four plus whatever. You know, with the disciple of life. That's, you know, additional five. And then I also heal five. So, yeah, that's not a whole lot for me, but it's better than nothing. Because, you know, maybe it just tops you off. Because especially if you're healing all the time. If you are if you could figure out a way to take some damage, well, actually it works. Ah, shit, it works good. There's that spell that they get that, like, the – where you cast it on your melee character and like half the damage they take goes to you. I don't know which one that one is. I don't, sh I don't remember what it's called, but I wonder if it's one of these. Guardian of Faith? Let's check if it's Guardian of Faith. Probably not. I don't know why, but thinking about the Guardian of Faith just makes me think about the spirit, whatever the fuck, from Minecraft. It wasn't that, but but yeah, there's. I think one of their spells allows it so that you take half the damage instead. I think I might be mixing up my editions of games, but that would be really good because you take half the damage, and then you're like, cool. And then on my next turn, I heal you, and I also heal. So I heal you. Everybody gets a heal. So it's really good for six level. I really do think it's yeah. So far, this entire. Yeah, it's really very good. it's very solid for what it does. Uh, eighth level divine strike, but it is radiant damage. We've already established that we won't go into to those abilities because they're all good. Uh, and then at seventeenth level, they get supreme healing. When you would normally roll one or more dice to restore hit points with each spell, you instead use the highest number possible for each die. For example, instead of restoring 2d8 hit points to a creature, you restore 12. So this is where Life Domain finally catches Itself. up, finally catches up to Grave Domain. <laughs> this? Because uh, there's no... And, and exceeds, <laughs> actually, because if you're casting, like, mass greater cure wounds or whatever to heal the whole party, you know, you're casting a 6th, 7th, 8th level spell, then, then you're healing for yourself for 10 hit points, and you're healing everybody else for... 50 60 70 hit points or whatever it is or yeah there's no real need to like this speaks for itself this ability like maxing out all of your potential hit die is there yeah that's that's really good yeah this turned what i would have put as like a like a, an eight out of 10 basilisks no it's it's, is it, five, it's, it's mechanic it's, like uh, it's out of five bastions and out of five basilisks although it's okay. not a see th th but then we're not a lot of things are going to be rated with bastion or with basilisks because we're not talking about the role-playing it's it's a terrible system we've already we've already decided uh, Pretty, it took us less than a week which is technically true uh, <laughs> If you watch the last video, you're like, Harley's in the same place she was last time they recorded. How weird. Um, <laughs> the next video after. Right, just have her ch we should just have her change her shirt every episode. <laughs> Even if it's the recorded no, the same day. And same day to give the illusion. Anyways, see, this, that was a sidetrack, and it was well above the three minutes. Right, but this this is a great ability. I think this is. This, uh, put this like say that this class was like an eight out of ten. This definitely put this above the ten mark. Like this is really strong. Right. 
Well, I mean, no, if we're going out of 10, we have to follow the rules, dipshit. Um, yeah, point is, is that a... No, I would say this This is on par with the Grave Domain, which we've established is like 10 out of 10 for what the abilities it gets. 100%. Because every ability is and useful. The good thing about we haven't said a negative thing about this, honestly. It's like some of the classes and some of the subclasses are like, all right, like this is kind of bad. Like Grave Domain in this one, it's like, everything is really good right because because we've established that divine strike or potent spell casting are great abilities so and every class gets one every domain gets one or the other so we can't hold it against or for any of the any of them because they all get it so it's almost neutral it's you know we don't count it in, as far as rankings go, because divine strike will be great if you're if you're if the cler- if the cleric is swinging at stuff, you're doing extra damage, which is great. Yeah. But um, if you're not, then you get no use out of it. But you wouldn't get use out of it if you were you know cast you know if you had potent spell casting either or whatever. But their channel divinity is great. They only get one one channel divinity upgrade, unlike fucking knowledge domain, which got like fifteen or some stupid shit. Um, Grand Domain got two, so they kind of have to decide. Um, I think. No, I think they only got their path to the grave that makes them vulnerable. I think their level six ability is just uh, something else. Um, but yeah, no, every part of this is good. Even the parts that you're like, oh, well, maybe they could do better healing with blessed healer, but like, no, that you want the cleric to be able to stay standing. So yeah, then being able to, then being able to heal you for extra and then selves for a little bit. It's great. Cause it's not, I mean, it's not like, and it's, and it's not a whole lot. So you're not like, Oh man, it's, but you're like, if your whole turn is spent going, I heal you. I heal some, I heal you. I heal some, I heal you. I heal some. It gives you- like I said, it takes a little bit of the danger of not healing yourself out, because, like you said, it's like you're you can be sitting there worried, like, is it worth healing myself, or do I need to heal someone else? Because without the person dealing the damage, I'm going to get hit, and without me healing them, they're not going to be able to hit anything and protect me. You know, it's like it, I completely understand, and it, dude, this is really, this yeah, is a fucking strong class. This is yeah, this sub, this, sub little, this yeah, this domain is really good. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. you know, and this this was Player's Handbook 2, or should I say as well? Because in older editions, there was Player's Handbook 2 and Player's Handbook 3, which added like new features for classes. Oh, see, now my hair looks terrible. Okay, I need to fix that now. It's going to bug me. Oh, my hair. Ladies. Um, Brandon. Um, no, yeah. Life Domain. I was, I was using my sexy voice. Brandon. Hello. Oh. Oh, oh. I don't have a sexy voice. Because you're not daddy. Um, yeah, you're right, not this relationship. Oh, your mommy? It's, anyway, oh. sex, life domain, see? Somehow it's tangentially... Domain, domain spells are great because you get healing, you get restoration, you get resurrection... All solid. Heavy armor means you can you have higher armor class. Disciple of Life means you heal for more. So the one thing that as your life domain cleric, and if you're one of those people who's like, oh, not all you don't have to be. If you play a life domain cleric and you don't intend to heal, play a different fucking domain. Yeah, for real. There's no point in not healing. If, like it, that should it, be your primary. If, if like it's I can respect if you're like grave domain, you should be healing a little bit because of some of their ability, because of their first level ability. But knowledge domain, sure, you don't have to heal. Forge domain, sure, you don't have to heal. Like, there's plenty that you don't have to be a healer, even if, even though you're arguably yeah. the best healer and one of the best healing classes in the game. If you are a life domain cleric, you need to be a healer. You need to. It is designed. It, it's healing. designed to be. Um. So Disciple of Life, solid. Because, once again, it's it's not going to be game-breaking where you're doing, you know, 50 million extra points of damage or healing for 50 million extra hit points. 
it's just a little bit, but it, it but it it's to it, but it stacks because it's every cre- essentially every creature heal heals for that much. So like we were saying with the master wounds, you're like boom, everybody heals for one d eight plus wisdom plus five. Actually, no, it's a fifth level spell, so it'd be seven type of thing, you know. So you're healing the whole group. Um, the preserve life is so good because think about it. Like we're we're thinking about this at low levels. At twentieth level, you're healing a hundred hit points, and you get like three or four channel divinities. So if your fighter just got bull rushed by something. And they're down to like very low. You're like, cool, Channel Divinity. Have a hundred hit points back. That's effectively a, f- a free heal spell. Yeah, you're not wrong. That you could do three times at that at, at the point where you're, you know, twentieth level. Besides the fact that you're also up, you know, um, you're a pray to your god for your divine intervention. But so that's that's extra healing that you don't have to waste spell slots on. It, it does not work with your Disciple of Life because it does specify spells and this is just a healing thing. But Blessed Healer, great because it keeps you standing. Divine Strike, solid if you're like, well, I don't have to be healing. Or if you're like, I want a DPS. So you smash somebody with your weapon once and then you go, healing word. You know, so then you're playing into Disciple of Life is healing for a little bit more. Blessed Healer is healing you for a little bit more. So you could off tank. You're going to do better if you're healing somebody else because your blessed healer doesn't work on yourself. So it's not some kind of loop. <laughs> um, and then Supreme Healing is fucking amazing. Like it, because at 17th level, you probably have like the heal spell, which heals like I think hundreds of hit points or something. Like it heals a lot of hit points. So if you're using something that can, like you're not wasting a low level slot in effort to, you know. No, yeah, this is, this is, as far as subclasses go, this is ten out of ten for me. I don't see anything because it does them, once again thematically. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It does its it job. Is. I can't say enough. This is a very good subclass. Yeah, it does its job. <laughs> 10 out of 10 Bastions and Basilisks. <laughs> I'll actually have to come up with some theme for, <laughs> for this. And then I'll have to put it on the screen. And, ugh, that's editing. I don't even know how to do that. This might still be blue. It. I don't even know yet. That would be very, very weird. Slightly upsetting, but very entertaining. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> very very weird slightly upsetting but very entertaining you just described me <laughs> okay so so that's the, that's the life domain uh thank you for watching i've been calvin i am not disappointed He's not disappointed. Hopefully, it's like the last episode to get that. That's true. Boom. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And now you get to listen to the outro song. And that's the outro song. Yeah.